Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Season 3 of The Righteous Gemstones. And this is created by Danny McBride, and directed by mostly McBride and Jody Hill through most of these episodes. And this third season finds Eli Gemstone, John Goodman's character, taking a backseat, trying to retire, and enjoy his time away from the church and the stretch stresses, and leaving his children, who have no no skills as adult humans to try to take over this church. And that's the big conflict, the internal conflict of this, where you have Jesse, Kelvin, and Judy, played by Danny McBride, Adam Devine, and Edie Patterson, struggling with this newfound responsibility. And each of these characters are challenged in their own personal way, whether it's Jesse having conflict with his wife, Amber, played by Cassidy Freeman, whether it's Kelvin really trying to process his potentially true feelings for Keith, his best buddy, played by Tony Cavallero, and Judy, and who happens to be having an affair, which challenges her marriage to the beloved BJ, played by Tim Bates, who... BJ is like the most wholesome character in this whole entire show, and we love BJ here, and he deserves better. And it's great because each of those side characters get some growth here too, and you get to see, like, BJ has a whole entire thing where he has to toughen up, and Amber trying to stand her ground, and Keith really trying to really express himself and, you know, and his connection with Kelvin. John Goodman is great as always, is Eli, who in this season is confronted by his estranged sister, whose two boys have gotten caught up with her ex-husband, who basically runs this militia, and this very uber-conservative militia, and it's really impressive the depths that this, this season goes in terms of exploring not only the the authenticity of the gemstones, is it about the faith or is it about the money? And I feel like a lot of these characters go on some really deep explorations of really trying to find their faith versus, you know, you have this whole entire crew who are these militiamen led by Peter Montgomery, Steve Zahn, who is a fantastic addition to this season. Steve Zahn is so great in this. I love what he does with that character, who's just this unhinged, crazy character. And Kristen Johnston, who plays Mei Mei, who's John Goodman's sister in the series. And uh, it's so interesting seeing their dynamic, that complexity. You have Mamie's sons, uh, Chuck and Carl, who get caught up in all of this, and how this season tackles the even like the big church evangelical commentary, but also looking at how others compromise religion, including these very dangerous militiamen. It's very interesting. I think this season explores a lot of action and thrills in interesting ways as well. There's uh, Skylar Gassando gets a lot to do as Gideon this season, becoming his grandfather's driver, and there's some really awesome chases in this. Um, there's a really great flashback episode that adds a lot of depth to the dynamics of these two families. And of course, you have Baby Billy, who has some amazing musical numbers in this season. There's gonna be a payday, there's gonna be a payday. That song, and then... <laughs> He gets a thing, it's theme song. Because the whole entire season, all he wants is this selfish need to have a TV game show named Baby Billy's Bible Bonkers. And that whole dynamic is fantastic. There are some loose threads that you feel like don't really go anywhere that are set up at the beginning, including this group, uh, this other religious family, the Simpkins, led by Stephen Dorff. But I like how they pull that all back around and make this season feel full circle. This is hilarious. It is emotional. It's thrilling. It's exciting. It's unexpected. Righteous Gemstones is still firing at all cylinders. And this is one of my favorite shows on television. Danny McBride has really matured into finding, like, this is his magnum opus show. 
and I love every second of it. I'm so glad Season 4 got confirmed, and you all should go check out this on HBO or streaming on Max. But those are my thoughts on The Righteous Gemstone Season 4. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies and TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.